before 2500 BC. Imagine these were the verses that were spoken and composed back then and we can hear them and because they have provided the guidance as to how to say them. This particular verse is called Nasadiya Sukta. Goes like this. Nasadasi no sadasi tada nimnasi drajo no vyoma paro yat kimavari baha kuhakasya sarman nam baha kimasit gahanam gabhiram namrutyurasi damrutam natarhi naratriya ahna asit praketaha ani davatam swadhayata dekam tasma dhanyanya para kinjan nasa tama asit tamasa gulhamagre praketam salilam sarvayidam tuchena vapihitam yadasit tapasahtan mahina jayataikam kamastadagre samavartadadhi manaso reta pradhamam yadasit sato bandhu masati niravindan hurdi pratisha kavayo manisha tiras chino vitato rasmi resha mada svidasit Uparis vidasit reto dha asan mahiman asan swadha avasthat prayati parasthat ko adha veda kaiha pravochet kuta ajata kuta iam visrushtihi avarga devas ya visarjane natha ko veda yata ababhuva iam visrushtir yata ababhuva yadivada dhe Yadivana Yo Asya Jaksha Parame Vyo Manso Angam Veda Yadivana Veda Rig Veda is known for its hymns which try to describe several facets of nature and their understanding of how the cosmos works. Even in Rig Veda, the oldest literature that is known to mankind, this particular hymn is about questioning their own thoughts whatever they have written in the other 25,000 verses. In fact, the pauses that I gave are actually break in syllables. Those syllables were taken away so that it gives like a pause effect for people to think. They are saying, we think the universe is created this way. The creation happened this way. But are we right? Perhaps the creator himself doesn't know how it happened back in 2500 BC when they could have passed off anything as valid they dared to question their own self so the message I want to pass on here is check your assumptions and also question yourself question your practices question your thinking perhaps what I am going to say is not even going to be valid but do think and I want to make you think